Hey friends, I'm Anne Marie. And I'm Gabe, and it's time to learn a tip to help improve your pronunciation in English. That's right. And today we are checking out the suffix ed and how it can change in pronunciation. It's a tricky rule, but once you learn it, your pronunciation will be that much better. Okay, so here's the first part of the rule. When ed is placed on the end of a verb, its pronunciation depends on how the rest of the word is spelled. If the verb ends in a d or a t, ed is pronounced as a whole new syllable. This new syllable makes an ed sound. The verbs blend and trust are good examples of how this works. When ed is added to the end of these words, it creates a whole new syllable. Listen, blended and trusted. Did you hear the extra ed sound at the end? Blended and trusted, got it? Good. Here's the next part of the rule. If the verb ends in a vowel sound or L, N, R, B, G, M, Z, S, or V, then ED is just said like a D sound. It doesn't become an extra syllable. Okay, so let's look at the verbs spell, rub, and scream. They all end in a consonant that was on that list. When we add ED to them, they become spelled, rubbed, and screamed. No extra syllable or ed sound. Two verbs that end with vowels are cure and carve. They follow the same no extra syllable rule and become cured and carved. If those were a lot of examples for you, feel free to watch this video again over on our YouTube channel, the Kong Zong Yi Jiao Zi Zi official channel. And while you're over there, let us know in the comments which video from this month you found the most helpful. See you next time.